A while back, I did a video on X Defiant when it was in beta, and the moral of that video was that it was okay, but it didn't do anything too unique. I didn't think it was bad, but I didn't think it was good either. It was certainly one of the video games of all time. However, last Tuesday, the game fully released, and wow, I don't know what the team did, but the game feels a lot better now than it did during its beta. So today, we're revisiting X Defiant to see what makes the full release so much better than its beta state. <laughs> Before we start, remember to subscribe by talking about video games on this channel in an analytical style, so if you like those kind of videos, feel free to join our community. I also live stream from time to time right here on this YouTube channel, so if you want to come hang out, crack some jokes, or discuss stuff, come join us sometime. And if you can't make it to those streams live, feel free to subscribe to my second channel, Rated M Live. I upload all the best moments from my live streams onto there. But with all of that out of the way, let's talk X Defiant. So for those unaware, X Defiant is a new free-to-play multiplayer FPS from Ubisoft, built by a team of people who worked on some of the most iconic multiplayer FPS games like Call of Duty and Battlefield, and as I said in my previous video, a lot of the design elements from the golden age of those respective series are evident in X Defiant. The movement is simple, the maps aren't too big or too small, and they work around the game modes that they're designed for. However, the game does take a few elements from newer Call of Duty titles such as the more modern movement and momentum, their specialists, and the creative class system is more built around the gunsmith system found in newer titles, and not the pick 10 system or the OG modern warfare class system. So it kind of meets in the middle between quote unquote classic multiplayer FPS titles and newer multiplayer FPS titles. And honestly, I think X Defiant does a pretty good job, especially in the full release. Let's first talk about movement. Moving in X Defiant now feels a lot smoother and even faster than it used to, but not in a way that it can be exploited in the way that modern Call of Duty's movement is. Going from running to sliding feels a lot more fluid and natural, for example. I said previously that it feels like a mix of Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 2, but now I feel that it feels a bit more like Black Ops 4 and Cold War. And sorry, I know it's late, but I am playing on Xbox now and I was previously playing on PC, but I need to bring it up for the next thing I want to talk about, and that being the aiming. I complained that the aiming felt really rigid on the controller, but now the aiming feels great. It doesn't feel as good as COD, and I don't think any game will ever have the mastered feeling of controller aiming that Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3 will ever have, but aiming in X Defiant now feels really good. In my previous review, I said that I was moving my character to line up my shots because aiming on the controller felt so rigid that it made it difficult to make micro adjustments. But I don't know what they did, or maybe it is because I'm playing on Xbox and not PC, but moving the right stick while aimed in now feels like I have way more control over my gun. I don't find myself overshooting my sight lineups, and it feels really good. That is arguably, for me, the biggest and most notable and my favorite change that has come to the full release. However, I still think that the guns take up too much of the screen, even on 120 FOV. The maps from the beta are all still here, with I believe a couple of new ones, and they're all a lot of fun. There's some maps that I think are better than others, and I think the only map that I truly hate is Dumbo, but every other map is built with gameplay in mind, featuring multiple interconnecting areas that flow really well between each other. And going into the game modes, I still think the hardpoint's the best game mode, the payload game mode isn't my favorite with how little people make an effort to contribute to the objective and the long respawn times kind of stink. Domination still results in a one-sided stomp almost every game, and control is decent enough, but I'd rather just play hardpoint at that point. I do find that spawn camping isn't as big of an issue anymore, but I still think the spawns aren't perfect. There have been so many games where I spawn in the exact same spot, over and over and over again, and it's a little annoying. Also, completely unrelated, but the game looks really fucking good. I'm playing on a Series X, and the character models and textures are really high quality for a game that's only about 40 gigs. The servers and netcode are also great, I have not had a single ping spike in my time of playing so far. To be honest, I don't really have any complaints this time around. I think that the team working on X Defiant did a really good job at polishing the game up for its full release, and I'm really surprised that this is coming from Ubisoft, because it does not feel like the usual slop that they're known for putting out. I think that my biggest complaint is that the guns take way too long to level up. If there were only a handful of attachments, I think it'd be fine, but the MP5 has enough attachments to bring the total level count to around like 40-ish, and it took me three games to get from level one to level two with it. Sure, there's XP boosts, but you gotta pay for them. That's not happening, Ubisoft, sorry. Aside from that, X Defiant right now is better than it's ever been. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I've even been playing it more than COD. For the past three days, it's been my go-to multiplayer game. If you want to check it out, it's completely free on consoles and PC, so go give it a shot. You've really got no excuse. And hey, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, feel free to leave a comment as I try to reply to as many as I can. If you want to check out more videos, you can do so here, as well as check out Rated M Live, which is where I upload the best moments from all of my live streams. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.